Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Catch Carp and Course. We have come back to this game after a long liaison. There's been so much going on with Fishing Planet Classic, Fishing Planet, and other games that I've been taking part in. I have not abandoned this, and one of my viewers really wanted me to do another episode of this particular game. And I thought I would head to a waterway that I have not been to, the Spain waterway, which is River Ebro. Now, I have never been here. I know nothing about it other than that it has quite a few large carp here. So I've already got myself set up with a carp default tackle box. We've got it on light clouds. I think I'm going to go ahead and do sunset. And I'm going with the in with the Haichu Hunter because it's got the rod holders, which we're going to need for the carp. I'm not sure what part of the lake I'm going to start in, but we're going to check it out anyway. See how well we do. We got one up here. We got one down here. We're going to here here. Let's try this one down here. Let's see what that one's about. It's a little bit narrower and. Well, this is actually looking pretty interesting, to be honest. Now, the Spanish weather is very dry. I have a feeling that the bottom here is very sandy. So I don't know if that's good or bad or otherwise, but we're going to... Check this out. See if we can't... I'll tell you what I want to do is I want to go underneath this bridge. I always like to fish under bridges. It seems like that's where a lot of fish species, especially big old carps and things like that, like to hang out. Yep, and I'm seeing some big fish down there, so we're going to go ahead and switch to fishing here. Now we're going to go ahead and set our rods out. Let me see what I've got on these anyway. Tuna match boilies, pop up tiger nuts, and sweet corn. Honestly, that doesn't sound too bad. Now, we are going to have to check, make sure that they're good for the bottom structure here. So, we're going to go ahead and toss them out and see what kind of substrate we have to deal with. Looks like silt. I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. Let me Look at my inventory again. I want to make sure that I have what's going to work. Yes, all of it here is set up for silt. All of these are set for large. Looks like we even have a spod mix with Tutti Fruity. So we're not doing too bad here. Let me go ahead and throw this one out here. Silt beds. I mean, this is kind of ideal. Time's kind of ideal. Got a nice mix. I think what we need to do is just kind of wait and see what happens. Well, it looks like we've got one. Number two, it is interested, and we are going to see what we got here. Hook is slipping, so we need to get this fish on here. Yeah, I'm usually right about the spots. This just looks like a car place to me. Ooh. I think we've already got this guy. Ah, very nice. I think it's a barbel, isn't it? Yeah, eight pounds, six ounce barbel. Off the pop-up tiger nuts. Yeah, I like these guys. These are kind of cool looking fish. All right. 
right. Looks like we got another one, number two. One number two here. Oh boy, this this one's this one's. I don't know what the heartbeat is, but it doesn't sound good. It's like he just darn near got away. The hook is strained. Oh boy. All right, let's take the tension down a little bit there. hook is still strained. Oh, and I got one on another one. Well, this is a really good spot, I will say that. Yeah, the carp... The catch carp in course is a really, really tough, guys. This is like fishing sim world, but it's on steroids. It's a lot tougher to play this than some of the others. You really, when you get a fish, you've got to fight him. They don't make it easy for you. But if you're persistent and you stick with it, I think I've got one on every rod now. <laughs> He's coming in. It's slow. And I just got to be patient. Okay, I thought I had one on three as well. I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a carp here because he's moving very slowly. I do apologize. My dogs are acting up because they hear my wife doing something and they think somebody's at the door or something, I don't know. Okay, it says the hook's strained, but man, I don't know what this is, but I have got to get him in because he's making a He's making a run for it. Okay. Yeah, I was afraid he was going to break the hook there for a minute, but he now see now he's straining it. Okay, we're get. Yeah, we lost the other one, but I think we may have this one. He is a monster, guys. This guy's a monster. Holy crikeys, check him out. That is one hellacious mirror carp. Specimen fish, too. 61 pounds, 12 ounces. That, my friends, is a fish. <laughs> check him out. Whoa! Awesome. That's what we wanted right there, guys. Ugh, I just I wish we hadn't lost the other one, but honestly, I'm not so sure we would have pulled anything better in than that. But I'm gonna toss that right out there. Those pop-up tiger nuts are really doing well here for me. I think I might switch this with something a little more akin to what the catfish like. This place has Wells catfish, so I'm going to see if I can't change that to something that they do like. Okay, that's the wrong one there. Let's see. Oh, well, never mind. I don't have time to do it. <laughs> Number two, yeah, they're definitely going after the... Okay, we have got us a good-sized fish here. 
I don't know if it's as big as the last one, but it's... Oh, we got one on the other one. Hold on, let me... Let me switch this off here. Oh, no, nope, that's the wrong one. I'm hoping this is something that works a lot like it does on Fishing Planet. Maybe if I can... try to play these, I can get them both in. Well, I can actually see this guy. Nope, we lost the other one. Can't make that work. Increase the tension here a little bit. Yeah, this guy's nowhere near as big as that last one. But he's still giving us a good fight. I think it's another mirror carp. seeing a lot of movement over there. I might try casting over there here in a moment. If I can get this guy to come in. Yep, I got him. No, he's nothing to sneeze at, though. Very nice looking fish. He's still on the common side, but 30 pounds, that's, again, nothing to sneeze at. Okay, I am going to try to throw that right out there where that was boiling up over there. Right about there. Let's see, was it three that I wanted to change out? I think it was. Yeah, I wanted to put something else on here. Let's see, number three, the sweet corn. Let's change that to something different here. Maybe chicken livers. Well, <laughs> looks like we got something else taking number one here. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Let's see if we can get us a catfish. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I can't believe I did that. You got to be careful what you hit, guys. Sounds like we got one on number one anyway, so... Okay, he is... He is already straining the whole system here. I was getting a bite on the other one, but apparently he gave up. Hook strained, hook strained. Okay, there we go. Increase the tension. And it's definitely another carp. Hook strained. We don't want it strain there but we don't want them to get too much low tension either so come on big fella Yeah, I 
thought I thought we were gonna get him in fairly easily. It's another very nice mirror carp. Pretty sure he's common size though. Yeah, 28 pounds. Got him on a tuna match boilies. We're getting close to leveling up again. It sounds like we've got a bite on another one here. Number two. Okay, and this, this guy is, he's on the move. I don't know what he is, but he is seriously moving fast. It's very anti-carp-like. He's also kind of running deep, too. What the hell we got here? He's not very big. Up, oh, another barbel. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a carp. He was not acting like a carp. Still common sized. We've only got one specimen fish. So far, nothing on the... Oh, number two already? Damn. Okay, it's going to be strained because he's going around that way. Okay, I don't know what this guy is, but he is... He's, he's pretty tough. We can add up our tension a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, come on, don't go around that thing. You'd be prepared to take it down if he decides to bolt. I think it might be another barbel. Yeah, we're getting a lot of barbel out here, guys. They really seem to go for this particular bait. They really go for these pop-up tiger nuts. Nothing massive. I think I might take a look, see if I can possibly upsize. Well, four is pretty big, though. Is there anything bigger than that that I can, like a two? Uh, I don't think so. Well, there is a two here. I spend a little cash, and that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. And let's upsize that so that we can... There we go. Let's see if we can't get a bigger... A bigger barbel, maybe a specimen version. I mean, it's fine if they're going for that, but I want to get a big one. Let's see, let's change this to something else. We've got... Yeah, I want to try this one. This is one that really seems to attract their attention. It's literally called The Scent from Hell. It has been very productive, both on this and Fishing Sim World. Kind of interested to see if it pays off here, too. Yeah, there's some big fish down there. Awesome. Looks like we got something. We got a hit on the chicken livers. Love to get us a good size 
Well, it's catfish, and it is already strained, so something big is on here. Okay, we need your attention back up. Looks like a Xander. Which is kind of weird. It is. I'll be damned. We went for the chicken lovers? I'm really surprised by that. Well, I'll take him. I'm kind of surprised by that. Okay, let's try right over there. I've seen some activity under the water here. I'm going to pull it up there where it's close to where it is. Okay, it looks like it's number two. I believe this is the pop of tiger nuts. Yeah, I think we got us a carp. We don't have another barbel. They don't they don't swim the same way. Carp tend to swim slower and more with I don't know. <laughs> they don't really jump and fight like the others do. Like they're using their strength more so than anything else. Okay, can't get a good look at this guy. Got one on the other one. Oh, he's big. He is a good size one. Sounds like I got another one too. If I can just get this guy in in time to get the other one. Come on, big guy. Come on. There we go, we got him. Whew, nice, nice mirror carp. He almost looks like a leather carp. 42 pounds, still common size though. Okay, where is the other one? It's number one. We got him. How did he get out there so far? Damn. Oh, that's right. I was playing around with the other one. I forgot. I don't know if he's that big or if he's just... Well, we got him. We'll find out soon enough here. Oh, wow. He's pretty good size. Sent from hell. Rare specimen fish. Another mirror carp. 48 pounds. Not as big as that, big as that last one, but still good size. Nice looking fish. 
we are getting close to leveling up here, guys. I think that's what we're going to try to get to at least. The scent from hell always seems to work. It really grabs our attention, I'll tell you. There's another spot where they're kind of stirred up a little bit. I'm going to try to get it close to that. It goes right about over here. There we go. Up. Oh. Which one? Number. Yep. <laughs> I was right. Okay, the fish is on. Yeah, it's sent from hell, guys. If you get the time to spend the money on it, I would do it. Because it really does... Really does get the carp's attention. It's apparently stinky. <laughs> I don't know if it does well with catfish yet, but I haven't been able to find them here. Yet. Of course, I just started. This may be strictly a carp spot. I may have to search around try to find where the catfish are. Maybe in another episode. I don't know. We'll see. This guy is going to make it a little tough for me, but... Okay, this is not a, cat, a carp. It might be a barbel. I'm not sure. Didn't... Yeah, I think it's a barbel. Ooh, it's a big barbel. I think we might have finally got us a specimen. Yes, we did. Got him with the scent from hell. 16 pounds, 12 ounces. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Still have yet to get the boss fish. That is what my main goal is. There is something down right there. And I mean, like, right next to the boat. That I am going to... Put that right there where he seemed to make an appearance. We'll see what happens. Sometimes it happens right away and sometimes not. Oh, I don't even have number two out. Let's see, I also saw something over there, too. Right about there, I think, is where he was. I think I might recast three. It's a little close. Some other place I might cast this. Let's try over here. Just mix it up a little bit. Okay, that's gravel beds. That's not going to work. Okay, there we go. We got silt. Alright, number two. Ooh. I don't know what this guy is, but he's trying hard to get off this hook. I don't think it's a carp. Okay, he is making a break for it. Yeah, this is not a carp. This is probably another barbel. We'll soon find out here. 
He's straining the hook, though. Damn. Rains, it pours. Come on, fish. Okay, we got him. We might have still have a chance to get the other one. Now he looks like a common carp. Yep. And we just leveled up. one is it? Number two? Can't see. It's number one. He's... This hook is slipping. Okay, there we go. We got him. Well, we managed to get to level 17. Still nothing off of number three. I don't know if there's anything over there or not. They may be all under the bridges. Okay, this is not a carp. Too fast. It's either a Xander or a Barbel. I'm thinking it might be a Xander. It is moving really fast. It could be a Barbel. Yeah, I think it is a barbel. Fairly decent one. All right, we got him. Not a bad one. Not bad at all. It's a second specimen fish I've gotten. 14 pounds. Two decent sized barbels. And we've got yet another one. Damn. Okay, so that would be three. Finally, we got one off of three. Okay, I don't know what we've got here, but. thinking this is a big fish. If that low tension is still strained, something... He's coming in now, finally. Let's try to get a little more tension here. This is off chicken livers. So it's All right. Come on. I keep saying the hook strain. What is this thing? And he's swimming too fast to be a carp. Oh boy, he's going behind that pillar. Okay, let's see if we can't get a little more tension. Maybe we'll get a... I think he might be a Xander. Good size one. Yeah, I think he's a Xander. Yeah, he's a Xander. I would have not known that Xander go for chicken livers. Honest to God, that is so odd. Damn, this guy is a fighter. Okay, we got him, finally. He's nice. And he is a specimen. 
He is a specimen fish. Nine pounds, eight ounce Xander. Got him on chicken livers of all things. That that really blows my mind. I would have never thought. Well, guys, that's our first look at River Ebro, and I think we're going to come back here again because this has really got me interested, guys. There are a lot of huge fish down there. I think it's just a matter of time before we finally find a boss fish. I have yet to catch one. That is my biggest goal, to get at least one boss fish somewhere. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.